Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to build on our lessons and we're going to start talking about player animations, how to create animations and get them set up for the four different directions. So let's get started. So I have my current game uh, state at the moment, we have our tile sets imported and my player is able to move around. Our player is still a, a square however, so we're going to replace that today with a animation that we're going to create. So let's take our player here from the hierarchy and uh, we'll actually just get rid of that player. Over here I have a bunch of different uh, sprites that have been inputted into Unity here and I've sorted them into a bunch of different folders. And I'm gonna go to my walking folder here and I'm just gonna take my down animation here. And if we drag that into our hierarchy, you can see our player is not looking very good. So first of all, let's change their order and layer to 10 so we can get them in the front here. But they're a bit too small, they're blurry, so we're gonna have to set a few things up here in the inspector. Okay, so let's go down here and click on our sprite and let's change our pixels per unit to 16. Uh, let's change our filter mode to point, no filter, and our compression to none. We're going to click apply and our character is always already going to look a lot better. But the problem here is we have to do these changes for every single one of our frames here. So I'm going to create a preset um, on, our, uh, on the uh, inspector here, which is going to allow us to apply these settings to all of our different sprites down here in the sprite panel. So once you get it all set up here in the inspector, uh, we're gonna click on these, these little sliders here and we're gonna create a new preset, okay? And I'm just gonna call this preset uh, character moving and I'm gonna click save, excellent. So now I can select all my remaining sprites, go to my presets window and select my character moving preset. Now all my sprites have, let me save these there, all my sprites have the correct settings over here, pixels per unit, right filter, and right compression. So that just saved us a lot of time. Okay, so let's take our uh, new game object that we put in the hierarchy here. Let's hit F2 to rename it, and we will call it Player. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our animation panel. If you don't have an animation panel here, you just go to Window, Animation, Animation, and then I just dock this panel down here. But actually, we're gonna move it up right up here for now. Okay, so let's click on our player up here and we're gonna create our first animation. So let's create an animation clip and I'm gonna put this into my animation directory and I'm gonna call this player walk down. Excellent, I'm gonna click save there. Okay, now I'm gonna take my walk down, my four clips from my walk down and we're gonna drag it into our animation here. Okay, now what this is gonna do is if I hit play here, you can see our players moving, but they're moving way too fast. So we need to slow down our animation here. Now, what we do is we're gonna do that by changing our samples here. If you don't see that samples, uh, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to click on these three dots and go show sample rate, okay? Then I'm gonna put my samples actually down to six. So now when I hit play, my player is still moving way too quick because I didn't confirm it. So let's hit six and then enter, there we go. Now when I hit play, my character has their walking down animation at a good acceptable rate. Perfect. So now that we have our player walking down animation done, I'm gonna put my animation panel back here at the top and we are going to create a new clip. And I'm gonna do player walking up. I'm gonna to go to my walking up sprites here, drag them in here, change my sample to, 60, to six, hit enter. And then let's create another new clip there. I'll call this player walk right. Take my walk right animations, drag those in, samples to six. And then finally, uh, we'll create one final clip here and we'll call this player walk left. Save, and then take our walk left animations, drag them in and change the samples to six, perfect. Okay, and now if we click play on this, there's our walk left, there's our walk down, our walk right, and our walk up. Excellent. Let's leave it back to walk down by default. And then we can go back to our new player object here. You can see there's an animator has been placed on that. And we could add a box collider 2D. Let's expand that and shrink this down step before but let's just kind of get caught up over here and then we can add our rigid body set the gravity scale to zero put the interpolate to interpolate and then we will add our player controller script also 
put our move speed to five, our lives to three. Now we should be able to click play. And we'll have our walk down animation that's gonna be permanently running as move around our character. So the next lesson we'll do uh, in a future video is we will have it so when you are changing directions in your movement, it actually cycles between those animations we've just created. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later.